Alrighty, alrighty. So, we're gonna start this episode out by hiring some guys. So, our entire coaching staff from AHL to NHL have all been let to walk. What we're gonna do, we're gonna revamp our coaching staff completely. Why? Because we, we, we never really had our, our chance to. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna find what fits for our core players. So, guys like Bedard, Reichel, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, he doesn't, he's not good enough. So, generalists, mm. let's see what's up here. 64% for Del Monte. I, I don't want a defensive coach. So, 62% works well for, for, uh, for Del Mastro. Uh, Dickinson, like him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking. I really need to keep looking. Associate coach, 68% kind of works. Uh, at, at at his role, I guess. At his role only, though, because yeah. But for a head coach, for, for the head coach role, we're gonna have to see here. So. I guess let's see what's up 58 percent yeah yeah because I really don't want guys like ant whistle to be the the ones who gen who, who benefit the most from it right like that's not what I want I want our core players so we gotta make sure here like okay Kane it's all right he's not I mean he's not gonna be there for long I mean he's gonna retire soon anyways I think that works very, very well. I think that one ver works very, very well. Scheme fit 60%, but it's like, it's the guys I actually want. We're gonna have to pay a lot of more money than that. Yep. See if we can, if we can land him. Assistant coach. Um, Sixty-four percent kind of works for Aldrich Dvorak, so yeah, you can come in and do your and do your work. You're working with a good core, so you can't really complain about the about the whole direction the team is going. Like we have a clear direction. Like we have a youth movement that is going, so you can't really complain to anybody. Like. Like, out of here with that, please. Goalie coaches are not something that is, uh... It's not something that's very nice. It's it's really not. Oh, uh, so... Yeah, uh... I still want a goalie coach, though, so... We're just gonna go ahead and hire him. For the AHL, well, it's a her, so cool, I guess. Uh, you're gonna get the Zendabok. You're gonna get the NHL job. Hopefully, we have a young goalie sometime soon. But hey, let us go ahead and do this. What I could have done as well. It was just try and see. Okay, yeah. And what we're gonna do here for 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 head coaches? Let's go for NHL head AHL head coach. Generalists. Henley come in. Associate coach. Is it sorted by okay, yeah, it still is, but I'm going to hire the generalist. I, uh, I mean, dude, I'm, I'm not going to hire someone whose specialty is goalies when I, I, I'm supposed to already have that. Like, come on, man. Uh, God, only HL assistant coaches for... Yeah, you're, you're going to be an assistant coach. And there you go. Our entire coaching staff, we have offers. But by the time we're going to be doing this, on July 1st, 
Uh, let us go ahead and see what's up, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't know what to do here. You're you're gonna be a scratch. Foligno is gonna be a scratch 100. But Dart needs a contract next season. We're gonna check what the contract is like. That is actually very very cheap. That is very very cheap for Connor Bedard, bro. Eight years, nine point eight mil. Okay, like I, I I can easily match that. Like we have a lot of money, even forty mil of cap space. Lucas Reichel, what do you want? 5.1 for four years? Mm, okay. See you there. How does the... 6.2 works. 6.2 works em very, very well. For eight years, lock them up max. Like, lock them up till they're supposed to be entering their prime. Uh... He's in RFA as well. He's really not commanding anything, so why don't I just extend him before he does he does anything impressive? Uh, Dickinson, you're probably going to have to walk next offseason. That's what I'm planning. You're probably going to be a trade piece as well in the in the trade deadline, sadly. Uh, Entwistle, you as well, likely. Same for Foligno if we can find anything. If, if we can just find anything for them. Uh, so for, for the unsigned, uh, we really have nobody. I mean, we signed, uh, Demidov and Oliver Moore. So they're going to be coming over in terms of all expiring. Cole Eisen is going to need an extension next, uh, not an extension, but a, uh, entry level or else his, his rights expire. Uh, Ryder Wolston. You can get extended. James Malatesta, you can get extended as well. Just keep it alive here with the whole uh, prospect thing. Uh, Tepley, you can you can piss off. Uh, he's, I mean, he's an AHLer. So he's going to be an AHLer, so. So, all these guys as well are going to have their rights expire if we don't re-sign them by next offseason. Uh, how the hell is the AHL squad, though? That's what I'm looking at. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, we do not have enough defensemen. We do not have enough defensemen. So we need to try and sign some D, man. Uh, yeah, Yerichek and Silaev, you're going to come over. You're going to de develop your game right here. Same for Silaev. And uh, we're... why not one more guy? One, one more guy wouldn't hurt. And uh, yeah, uh, for goaltenders, for goaltenders, uh, Peter Morazek. If I could just buy out his contract right now, I would immediately do it. Drew Comesso, you're going to be, I'm going to extend you before you do anything in the league, right? Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just do this. I mean, you haven't done anything in the league yet. I'm not going to sign it to 4 mil. Even though for, for 8 years it looks good. Like, nah. Not doing that. Defenseman, Korczynski is going to need a contract. Same for Del Mastro. Same for Nolan Allen. Same for Crutill. Let's see what's up with you. Two years. Wouldn't hurt. Uh, Nolan Allen. Three years. Yeah. You can be making the team at a very cheap price as well. Uh, Del Mastro, two years for 3.9 mil. What the hell are you looking at? I think that could work. I think that could... It, it's a gamble. It's not... Yeah, it's, it, it's a gamble that I'm willing to take. Okay, he hasn't played much. But... Hey, it, it, he he's medium top four. He's he's supposedly gonna become good. So 
And also, yeah, he did play, but he grew to an 80, so he's going to be good. Korshinsky, what are you looking for? What did you produce? 60-point player? Six, okay, 40, 60-point player. I'm going to wait for you. I might wait. Because you're looking for a bridge. You're kind of looking for a bridge. 9.4? I mean, that's getting paid more than Bedard. And Bedard got... Wait, a second. yeah, it's almost as much. I offered Bedard 9.8. You're getting 9.4 as a defenseman. And we got to be a little bit careful here because we ha already have a $10 million de defenseman on the roster. And he still has quite a few years left on his deal and he is regressing. But that's another conversation. So uh, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to stall him. Uh, I'm, I'm going to see. Right, I'm just gonna see. Let's see what's up with the free agents here. Oh, okay. So you could get some shooters, some guys. Mark Giordano wouldn't hurt. He wouldn't hurt for 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 one year deal. And also, uh, yeah, he's gonna be an eight million dollar defenseman. Because uh, we do not have a lot of money for the cap floor. so And as well, he can be traded. So why not? Uh, okay. So we can try and get some veterans and try and surround them. Uh, surround the younger guys. Especially defensively. Uh... Kevin Shattenkirk was our guy last uh, last season. I might just make that move. R really, the only thing I might do. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I'm not trading Nolan Allen for for second round pick. So we're gonna decline. Okay. Sure, man. Well, well, that's your job title. How the hell are you going to accept it to at this job title? That is literally your job title. Oh, don't feel the quality of roster. Like, dude. Oh. Sure. S some shit don't really make sense. There re some reasonings just don't make sense. Challenges you're not willing to take on? Yeah, okay. So, what spot is filled? None for the AHL because they just decided to say screw that. We're not joining you regardless. <sighs> Bro. Sean Ellis, sixty-two percent. <sighs> okay. So Sean Ellis, come over. I don't know if it if it was the same guy. I, I doubt it. I doubt it was the same guy I offered. Like Oh wait, I already got a head coach. I I can't offer uh, God, okay. I, I, I cannot offer. So I'm gonna have to wait here for for a bit. Yeah, so uh you, I mean he's probably gonna get hired. So associate coach it is. So, uh, what about AHL? What do we do with AHL? Because all of them decided to say, screw you. You're not... I'm not coming to your team. I mean, dude, your, your specialty is goalie, bro. What, why? How the hell are you not accepting it? Accepting your role as goalie coach. It's kind of contradictory, isn't it? Oh yeah, he already has NHL interest. I'm, I'm not gonna even try. I already offered this guy. But whatever. I'm just gonna see. NHL associate coach. Come in. Like, I'm not going to go and try and 
and go down all these tickers just to maximize money for for some hl coaches bro like like i'm gonna need to chill out on that real quick uh yeah here you go uh you just get full-on head coach money i bet you'll be happy or not because you're just taking the rockford ice dogs they only made the playoffs so nah i'm not i'm not taking on this challenge because i'm too good for that and i have no clue why your why your job title is like hl coach Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever, whatever. No, I don't think this roster matches the challenges. Okay, man. So Bedard, he resigned, so we got him at a bargain. Lucas Reichel resigned. Giordano signed. Okay. So, uh, what we have left here, we have uh, associate coach. Yep. You can be associate coach. You still don't have any offers from any NHL team for head coach. So, I don't know about that, bro. Like, uh, I jacked the money up. So, you better... Uh, Better accept, or else you're just gonna be cut com coming to the season. Just saying. Just saying. Uh. So the AHL associate coach, you're getting a lot of money for an AHL coach. So uh, you kind of have no incentive to not accept. Uh, you can come in and be my AHL coach. Again, overpaid. So, uh, don't start getting all mad at me at the role. You got a lot of money for being just an AHL coach. Oh, the same guy again? Okay. We are still stuck. We are still stuck. Uh... Well, he hasn't answered yet, but the other guys, we're going to need to get an AHL coach, man. Uh, A teaching. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, C teaching. Oh, my God. Okay, A minus teaching. I mean, dude, stop declining my offers now. God's sakes. It's not even like I'm giving you absolutely nothing. You're getting a lot of money to join me. I did. I do not have to do this. Oh D. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. C minus. Oh. Okay. Looks like I don't have to jack the money up for for him. Trey Worrell. Will you accept? To be on my AHL squad and do your job there. Just for God's sakes. Oh my God. Oh, that is a... That is a trade. Uh, Logan Hensler. In a third round pick for Oliver Bjorkstrand and Jacob Truba. Okay, Winnipeg. It's not like I would do this, but uh, you do you. Oh, finally. Accepted offers. Oh, finally, some guys accepting offers. There you go. Now our coaching staff is filled. Let's just sim to the end of the season. All right. So I sim till the off season here. And here we have. Uh, so the first line. I guess they pretty much got it on. Oh. Okay. So Bedard, Reichel, and Demidov. Demidov grew to a 80. 
Don't you love to see it? Uh, Lakaramaki. Hold on. Oliver Moore is going to be second line. That's like obvious, right? Like that was supposed to be the thing. Uh, okay, I think that works. I think that works. Uh, Kurashev, Bedard, and Demidov. Works. Why? Because it also helps the second line. It would also help the second line with Oliver Moore. So, good. Very, very good. Beautiful. Uh, I think that works as well. Cole Gutman being the fourth, uh, third line center. Yeah. Third line center. Nick Foligno, uh, Landon Slager, you're, you're, you're going to come in. And uh, for Entwistle, yeah. I mean, obviously, Frank Nazar. I mean, I mean, God. Uh, I think even Frank Nazar is going to be the center. He's going to be the number two center here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking for something here. I was kind of looking for something, but God sakes, man. S some of it is just screwed up. I think having Kane, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I know that's the issue. I kind of want Demidov and uh, and Bedard. So I think this is just going to have to work. Uh, it, it's not bad at all. I mean, our players are growing. They used movement, of course. And uh, Giordano. Okay, he can play both sides. So what I'm going to do here. Uh, Alex Vlasic. What the hell happened with you, bro? I mean, whatever, man. Uh, I want him with, with Korczynski. And how that's gonna work yeah okay cool I think that last line is gonna have to work or something I don't know uh yeah, I think, it's, I think it's gonna have to work, but I really want Alex Vlasic to actually be doing something. So I'm gonna have him on the first line and make him grow. Why not? I'm, I'm gonna do exactly that. And uh, for the power play, yeah, that's not what I actually want here. So, Orchinski. Orchinski, you're okay with where you are. Uh... We can easily use Demidov here. Uh, left, left. Okay, cool, cool, whatever. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna have Bedard play the wing just so that he can have more flexibility with his uh, with his shooting, right? So, like that's what I'm gonna do with him. And the finisher is obviously gonna be Bedard. Puck carrier is gonna be it's gonna be Kane. Distributor is obviously going to be Korczynski. And we're going to keep up that 1-3-1. Okay? So that looks good. I think we, we have it down to a T. Uh, Nazar, he's going to get power play time. So you come in here. Lakarimaki, you're going to be on the... Uh, on. You're going to be playing on the point. So come in right there. And... Uh, oh, God. Who's the one making a shit? Who else needs? Who else is a guy I forgot here? Uh, Cole Gutman, Jason Dickinson. Yeah, re really no one else. So I guess, okay, cool. Whatever. S second line power play. Hey, cool. Uh, Peter Morazek. I mean, I... Yeah, you know what? I think Peter Morazic is going to get the start. I think it's more realistic to, realistic to do that. And after that, it's going to be uh it's it, it's it's going to be Comesso throughout the year. It, it's it's going to slowly come to Comesso, right? So, I think that works. Also, Demidov uh I'm going to make him number 11. Either him or more, however, though. So, I think yeah, uh Demidov, where the hell are you? 
yeah you know what i'm gonna make demidov number 11 and uh Arvamore number 10 why not it does belong to some legend in patrick sharp but hey I think it's I think it's totally fine here. I think it's totally fine. So we're gonna start the season sim. Mark Giordano, you can number five. Yeah, okay, you can yeah, you can claim his number five. It, it's not a retired number or a legend, so I think that's totally fine. Colton Dak. I never knew he had number twenty. I I, I, I never even realized. So uh, I think. I think that's fine. I think that's totally fine. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, but hey, I guess. Yeah, his, his assigned number anyway is on cap friendly is number 28. I didn't even know that. But E8 somehow did. Uh, but hey, I guess. Uh, Drew Comesso, you're going to get number 30. Why not? And uh, Mrazek, you keep that number. You keep that number with yourself. And cap uh, hold on, captains. Captains, who's captain? Foligno. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep the captain away, right? I'm, I'm gonna keep that away, right? So, um, would it be too early to give it to give the A to Bedard? No, not really. I mean, okay, so Bedard, Kane, and and Seth Jones, and Del Mastro, uh. Why not? Why not give him a, a different number or something, right? S something different. Like, probably the under number he had uh, in junior. I think he had number 77. So I'm going to give him to that. Why not? And uh, I think that's, I think that's it, right? I, I think that's totally it. Cool. Let's start the sim. Hopefully, it's it's better. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a draft class as well. Uh, Drew comments so fully healed. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, you don't have some preseason injuries. Like it, it, it would just be so annoying. Like, ah, uh, dude. So, first game is against Vancouver. So, Bedard playing against his his hometown team. So. Uh, View draft class. I'm gonna show you guys a draft class. This is the Gavin McKenna draft class. I don't have a lot of guys for this draft class. I, I only have, I only have five guys for 2026. So uh, Vio Bjork, Ryan Rubrek, uh, the other guy Joe Ginla, uh, the other son of Jerome Ginla, and uh, Noah Kosick. Yes, Noah Kosick. He's the other guy. Uh, so yeah, Gavin McKenna draft. Do we get anything in the top five? I don't know. But after that, after that, it's gonna be only one one real guy in the in the next few drafts, and that's it. So, it, just to show you guys. So, uh, I just want to check something real quick. I want to check the AHL. See if there's anything I'm missing about the AHL. So, God, the the AHL squad is gonna be so good. <laughs> the AHL squad is gonna be so good. My God, yeah. Uh, I signed a bunch of bodies. I got a bunch of AHL bodies. It's just for us to actually have the right amount of players as well. So here we are here. Uh. We have a bunch of guys scratched, but hey, uh, they're still gonna be playing because they actually have, because like they actually have some some injuries too to deal with. But yeah, here we go. Let's see. First NHL game for Oliver Moore and Ivan Demidov. How does it go against the Vancouver Canucks? So first period in Vancouver, get our first power play, first power play goal here. Frank Nazar, the second unit. I love to see it.
All right, end the period. Good. Up one nothing. So shots are nine to eleven. So here we go. Second period. What else do we do? Okay. Uh, we're getting outshot still. And it looks like Mrazek is shutting the door, so I guess good. 2 nothing. Oliver Moore, first NHL goal. And right after that, Niels Hoglander. What happened to Drew Carmesso? Uh, to, to Peter Mrazek? Okay, I guess. I guess the AI just decided for me. I mean, I put Mrazek there first. Oh my god, Frank Nazar hat trick. Good god. Frank Nazar went off in the opener. 4 1. 5 1. Oliver Moore with two goals. Okay. Don't you love to see it? Niels Hoglander scoring a second goal of the game. So 5 2 Chicago with four minutes left. 3 2 1. 6 2. Kor Kevin Korchinski. So the young guys. So Demko got yanked. And Korchinski, like the the youngsters, the youngsters taking over. So no Bedard, no Kane, no nobody, but Frank Nazar just emerging. He, he says, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for that big year. I'm ready for a big season, a breakout year. Like, hey, Frank Nazar has arrived. Well, we're going to see how we do in the first month. So, lost to St. Louis. Yuri Felkman. Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, God, Alex Vlasic. So, he gets an injury. Okay, I guess. We're going to need to call someone up. Because we do not have any defensemen as scratched. So, uh, yeah. Philip Bruce. Oh, and I forgot Nick Lardis is in the AHL. Okay. Whatever, man. Uh, you're you're going to get your spot. One day. So, uh, Philip Roos. You're up here. For the time being. Uh, Rockford Ice Dogs. They need guys. Here we go. So. Hopefully. Uh, Frank. Hopefully Frank Nazar playing with Kane actually does something. So, yeah, his first game playing with Patrick on the same line as Patrick Kane. He's just, oh, God, we're just losing. And Nazar gets injured. What a mild concussion. Okay, I guess. Okay. So, uh, I guess they decide that, hey, as soon as you're playing well, we're just going to hit you with all these injuries. Oh, and... Uh, yeah okay cool good 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 yeah because i filled him with felino for the time being so two five and one in the first month i mean it's no surprise the team kind of sucks uh it hasn't hit his final form yet or anything close to that but nazar he is healed so he was only out for a few games and while we're at it while we are at it, let's go check the stats of some guys here, right? Oliver Moore, Oliver Moore has four goals, four goals, one assist in eight in, in his first eight games of this of his career. Ivan Demidov, what does he have? Okay, one goal, one assist, one assist in two games in eight games. Bedard has three goals, two assists in eight games. What about Reichel? No goals, two assists. Okay, I, I'm gonna give it time. Patrick Kane has one goal, three assists in eight games. What about Lekera Mackey? Lekera Mackey has six points in eight games. Okay. Kurashev, okay, two points. One point for Gutman. Uh, yeah, not much production after that. Uh, I want to check the injuries here. How, how Vlasic was doing much better before his injury. Like in terms of like defense and stuff, so his overall jumped. So 
Uh, Mark Giordano got injured. I guess we're going to have to bring up another defenseman. So, yeah, we have to be ready for this. Uh, Mark Giordano's 40, so his durability isn't going to be that good. Uh, Nick Lardis, Matesta. Nolan Allen, you're going to make an appearance. You, come on on board. Left D, fill in for Mark Giordano. There you go. Oh, wait. Giordano's a right D. Ah, okay, whatever. Uh, all we're going to do is just fill in for the other line, so... I'm totally fine with it. Extra attacker? Why was Giordano extra attacker anyways? Just okay. It, 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 I'm gonna make Kane the second, the second one. Offered ice dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, all cool. Adam here to check. Yeah. Buffalo's 11, 12 and two. Yeah, after beating us. Uh. Okay, Demidov got injured. Not good. And whistle, you come in. Uh, I guess we're fine. You know, just come in. Who cares? Why four man power play two? Yeah, exactly. Like, stop. Uh, Nazar has been injured as well. Uh, I really don't like that. I really don't like that we have more injuries after all of that, bro. Uh, I was hoping we'd catch a break. I was hoping we would. Uh, and, and again, bro, like, chill out. I, I freaking hate, I freaking hate these glitches, bro. I hate these glitches because there's no way, if I filled up for him, and I tapped every line, then it should apply for every line. It, sh it should, it shouldn't have that, like, all, all that stuff, where it's like, Oh, did he do this? Did he do that? Oh, check there. Check there. There's errors. Like, all you're doing is just wasting my time. All you're doing. All you're doing is just wasting my time. All right. So, okay, here you go. Demidov. Demidov, your ass is back in. Now, go ahead. Uh, Del Mastro has been injured. Okay. Okay, man. Okay. Nolan Allen, get your ass in. I don't think I asked for that, EA. I really don't think I did. So, put White Kayser back. My God. Oh, my God, bro. EA. EA, bro. I, I, I didn't ask for that. I didn't. Replace player. Yeah. Uh, just replace player. Because for God's sakes, bro. We're just... I think I'm going to sim one more month. We did much better in the second month. We started doing much better. So I guess, you know, have some progress in the rebuild. Do better every year. Right? So... Uh, I, I really didn't mean to do this, but okay. Preferred lines. Let's see what we have here. Uh, Khrushchev. All of them are back, right? Oh, Slaggart. All, all of them are back, right? What the hell happened to Alex Vlasic? Oh, there's there, God. Okay, they're still all injured. All the young guys, all young guys are injured still. Okay, man. Not what I hoped. Not what I hoped, really. But cool, I guess. Uh, Foligno. Who filled in for him? Oh yeah. Okay, right here. End whistle. Colin Dak, come in. Cool. Now, 
Okay, Oliver Moore. Okay. So you can uh scratch player. Yep, scratch player. Exactly. Put him back in his in his spot. Okay, so and that guy is gonna take Oliver Moore's spot. Are we clear? Oh my god, bro. That's not what I asked. Okay, like bro. You're taking his spot. Good. Bro, the game finally registered. Everything we were gonna do. Alright. And unassigned roles. No, that's not true. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the injuries off. And just so that we could just end this end this episode. Right? Just so that we could just end the episode. Bro, what the hell are they doing? Colin Dak. Get, just get your ass in. EA, there's no issue, bro. EA, there's, le there's legit no issue. EA, uh, where's the issue? Is it on edit strategies? Unassigned? Oh my god, okay. Uh Kiramaki and Nazar. Good. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Uh what I am gonna do now, what I am gonna do just so that we could wrap up this episode, which is which has been extremely annoying with injuries. Extremely we're going to remove injuries for the time being. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it back on next episode. Right. Just so that we could wrap it up and stop with, with all these interruptions, all these notifications with new injuries, because it, it has gone, it, it got into my nerve a little bit. Okay. So let's see what are with these, uh, what are the timelines? <sighs> Pending evaluation uh february february my god okay uh post i'm gonna sim till i'm gonna sim till january 13th okay and and the sim is gonna be faster because there's no stupid injuries right so uh you're gonna go till this game Sim today. And now, uh, Oliver Moore is already back. Okay. So he wasn't going to be out for a while. He was never going to be out for a while. Uh, so that's good, I guess. That's good. Now get, now get your ass back in. Right. And now, Yuri Felkman. That's for AHL. I bet the AHL team's doing good. So... Uh, Samuel Savoie, it, it, it's a stacked AHL team, so we just better do good any freaking way. Uh, and we're almost here anyways, with the... Uh, Alex Vlasic is back! Fully healed. Okay, so now Philip Roos, you filled your duty. That's not what I... Uh, EA, bro. Yay! What the hell, bro? That <sighs> bro, I'm I am so tired of your glitches, EA. I'm so tired of your glitches. <sighs> okay, sounds good. We're gonna check some stats here. Korchinski. Ugh, okay, so I guess he's producing point per game. <laughs> Uh, maybe we should have signed him before because he has 47 points in 39 games. Okay. Uh, Giordano. Let me see. Seth Jones. Even Seth, he's making Seth Jones produce. 
that tells you something that tells you something uh alex vlasic played only three games so he didn't really get anything there but demidov 14 goals it's 25 points 14 goals 25 points in 37 games in his rookie season that looks just fine looking just fine for a rookie yeah 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 i take care of these trade offers ea i really don't need i really don't need you okay so coming off a of 5-2 win against montreal the blackhawks are 20 16 and 4 it's actually sitting in a wild card spot bedard has 51 points in 40 games all right so we're gonna end the video here subscribe if you're new click like button comment down below your thoughts and uh yeah next episode let's see what we do because we're actually in a winning record right there 26 and 4 is nothing impressive but it's way better than what we were in any years that's supposed to be a rebuilding year so hey we're improving